Lifting a weight with a set of pulleys. In figure, a worker lifts a weight W by pulling down on a rope with a force F. The upper pulley is attached to the ceiling by a chain and the lower pulley is attached to the weight by another chain. Draw one or more free body diagrams to find the tension in each chain and the magnitude of F in terms of W if the weight is lifted at constant speed. Assume that the rope, pulleys and chains have negligible weights. So we're going to start with free body diagram uh, for W, our weight. As you can see in the figure we have the weight pointing down and there will be a tension on this uh, string pointing up. So uh, if we define this as our uh, y-axis, then we have um, the weight modeled as a particle tension acting on it pointing up and W weight pointing down. And since the net force on the y-axis to be zero because the motion is with a constant speed, tension must be balancing W, so the tension in the lower string will be equal to W. Now uh, we can draw a free body diagram for the lower pulley here, so right here. Because we have this F being applied on the string, it's the same string that is uh, going under this uh, lower pulley, so we, have, we will have the same force F uh, acting there as well. So when we draw the free body diagram for the lower pulley, we see that um, we have W pointing down, which is the tension T, and there are two forces F and F pointing up. So the net force on the y-axis should be equal to zero uh, and the tension must be equal to 2F uh, which is uh, W so F is equal to W divided by 2. Now uh, why is this the same force F acting on these strings because uh, they are all uh, the rope, the pulleys, chains, they have all negligible weights. Okay, so we can note that here. Uh, note that the tension in the rope must be equal to F everywhere since the rope and pulleys have negligible mass. Now what happens if the rope has a measurable mass? Uh, you, you, you can look at the heavy rope problem. Okay, and finally we can draw a free body diagram for the upper pulley. There we have a tension pointing up and 2F uh, pointing uh, down. So upper pulley modeled as a particle feels a tension in the upper chain, T up, and the two forces F and F pointing down. The net force on the y-axis should be equal to uh, zero. 
therefore t up must be balancing 2f which is equal to w so the tension in the upper chain will be equal to w also all right so we have found the tension uh, in the upper chain in the lower chain and in the rope everywhere uh, so if we go back we have a worker pulling on this weight by using this uh, set of pulleys uh, and we basically uh, pull on this rope with the force f the same force f is on this rope and on this rope because the pulleys and the chains uh, uh, have uh, and the rope has a negligible mass so in order to find the tension on each cord first we started up with the pro, uh, pre body diagram of w we see that w is balanced by tension in the chain uh, so we can uh, find uh, the uh, tension t to be equal to w and this tension t is balanced by uh, 2f in the a lower pulley so therefore we find that 2f is equal to w or f is equal to w over 2 and when we look at the upper pulley we will have 2f pointing down and uh, the tension in the upper chain pointing up and therefore t up will be equal to 2f which is w and why am i writing this net force on the y-axis to be zero because i have um, lifting occurring at constant speed the acceleration is zero so i have to write this equilibrium condition net force on the y-axis equals to zero